Hi, you guys. Welcome back to part two. So let me go ahead and just get started、um, and just continue. If you missed my first one, you can go back to the first one. And this is just part two of the continue things that I found at a state sale that they had. Very nice paper. Look at that one. I love that one too. I actually love all the paper that I picked out. They had more, you guys. I was just like so overwhelmed and was like, okay, I just gotta pick up what I really loved. And that's what I did. I didn't. Take everything. I left a lot there. And since I was <laughs> the only one looking at all the crafts, <laughs> so look at that. That's beautiful. This reminds me of like、um, watercolor paper, kind of. And there's that one. And this one. Oh, look at that. You've got butterflies in the back. That's beautiful. And then, of course, you can cut them out and make embellishments. So, here is the next one. And you will see why I picked up this one. And this one's a Christmas. I'm thinking, is it Christmas? This is called Children's Hour Stickers. And it is by Graphic 45. And they are stickers, and they are just so cute. Great to use anytime, I think, or for Christmas. So I love that one. Okay. Here's that. This one, I think I have that one. That paper, that looks familiar. Great for fall. I love the wood grain. Gonna try to go as fast as I can. And then you got some solid colors there. And then、uh, some cutouts. That's really beautiful. It's、uh, glitter paper. And this paper, I think I have this one. But look at that. So, and I also picked up this one. And this one is just right for creating custom cards. You get 12 pre scored cards, solid fronts, and pre score cards, die cut windows. Wow, look at that. That's how it looks. Let me go ahead and open this up. I didn't know what it was, I just went ahead and picked it up. So, these are all scored cards already that you can even use as shakers, right? Oops, sorry. <laughs> So that is cool. So that. And then this one as well is just the same thing, but this is black and white, and this one is pastels. So it's pretty much the same thing. So I picked up that.、Um, also, I picked up this one as well. Let me.、Um, See, I'll open that later. I want to get through everything. And this one, Unique Paper Crafting Graphic 45.、Um, and I guess you, they, there's a template to make a pocket. I don't own anything Graphic 45. 
um, I think I had like a couple papers that someone had sent me a long time ago when I first started getting back into crafting. So um, I just went ahead and picked up this one. The houses. The cards. And I thought this would be great for journaling uh, when I do my journals and such. So there you go with that. Okay. So... Um, I also picked up this one, 8 by 8 page making kit by me and my big ideas. And this has uh, 6 8 by 8 papers, um, 38 stickers, and 6 soft pieces. So there you go. And there's the paper. So that... I also grabbed this one as well, basic ingredients, and I just thought this was really cool for any kind of mixed media or something like that, so that's why I picked up that one, and then this one as well, so there was two of them, so I picked up those two packs, and then also... They had this one, Sigzit. Oh my God, can't even talk because I'm just so overwhelmed of all this stuff. Uh, Sigzit, there you go. And has right there that squares. And then here's another one of the pastel, um, the pre pre scored solid, no, card solid fronts. That just have the window there for you already. And then there's more of these stickers. These ones are for Valentine. I also picked up this as well. It reminded me when <laughs> I was um, small and I just thought... These were so cute. So I picked up that one with the little birdie. And then it's a set that comes together. And that one. Okay. And I picked up um, these flowers. That. And then they had a bunch of these... Um, these clear bags, a um, hundred pieces, size three by four. I picked up a couple of these. And so my mom grabbed a couple of them for her jewelry. And I thought these were great. So I went ahead and picked up a couple packs of those. Also, there was this stamp here. And it has seashells. And that's the back. And I just thought this was really nice. And I wanted to pick it up. Like to make like a beachy card or a summer card. So I thought that was really cute. Also, um, random, they had these swans. And I just went ahead and picked them up. That if I wanted to repaint them, I can. I just love the antique color of it. And this one as well. They had a lot of different uh, sizes of swans. And then this one I fell in love with. So that one. Oh, and this one. Oh, my gosh. This one is so beautiful. Look at that. Very, very beautiful. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah. And then I picked up this one. I thought that was different. And I was like, oh, I love that. So I picked up that. And then 
this one as well. So you can tell this hasn't been used at all. And then this one is like some summer wood pieces. I picked up these embellishments by Vintage Scrappy Chick by me and my big idea. So I picked up that one. This one here with these little beads. I don't know if you can tell. There you go. That one, I don't know if I was like showing you <laughs> so much stuff. So I'm just pretty much trying to get through all this stuff. There's that one. And then um, there's these stickers. Uh, bow and flowers. I just thought these were really cute. So picked up that. Then here's this one as well. And then I fell in love with these ones, the little bottles. Look at that one with the, there's a flower painted on these really antique little bottles. So I surely want to take a look at those. And then um, I will show you this. Sorry, I have my table full right now. And this little bag. Uh, I was just grabbing some flowers. And I just added it in this bag. Great to use on cards and such. Little bows. Then you have these little bows as well. Can always paint them. I love these ones. These are really nice. And some gold and white ones. I love this one. Love the color. Can tell like these have not been used at all. And then I want to see these bottles real quick. So I can show you. Look at that. Really cute. And then here's this one. It has like a little sailboat inside. Really cute, and look at this one. Really cute. I just fell in love with these little, little ones here. Okay, you guys. So I have to bring the other bag. Yeah, I have another bag full of stuff. So I guess this one belonged to the other one. And I guess she must have had a die cut or something like that. Of course, we can use scraps to use for punches and such. And look at this one. This is really nice. Oh, I'm glad there was more of this paper. Look at that one. Double-sided. So I'm just going to go through... Uh, Look at that. Here is another one. There's that. And this one as well. So I think these are like colors. Oh, I love that. Okay. And then here's another one of some paper. So I'm going to try to get through this um, for my phone. 
so I love this. That's really cute. Some more butterflies. And there's this one. I mean, there was so much paper, you guys. I was just like, I love like antique paper. Let me see here. There's that one. And that one. So really nice colors. Okay, that. And then um, there was this one that has some flowers. So I went ahead and picked up this as well. And it has all these flowers. They're like pink flowers that you can add a centerpiece in the middle. So I picked up that as well. Okay, and I picked up this one. I didn't know what it was, and I just went ahead and got it. And it says sew ribbon. So you sew ribbons, and you see the flowers. And it's by We Are Memories. Easily add a beautiful accent to any project. So, um, totally will be trying this out. So I picked up that brand new in the pack. And then there was these small little vintage purses. How cute is that? It just came off the little circle there. And then this one. So cute. And then they had... Also, this one, which they just threw in the basket. So, I went ahead and just uh, picked it up. So, picked up that. And then, um, a bunch of these, you guys. I'm just going to show you one because there's just a lot of them. And um, I picked up, I guess they did a lot of mailing or something like that. So I picked up a bunch of these. So I will be good for a while. <laughs> and then I picked up the huge ones. They had the small ones and then the big ones. So, of course, I picked up a bunch of those. And then um, I also picked up a bunch of these they also have these small ones and so i picked up a bunch of those i mean mailing i'm always sending uh, stuff especially when i do my pocket letters so i know those would come in handy and then um let me go ahead and grab this hold on a minute Okay, so the last thing, um, I did get like two things, uh, but um, it's kind of big to bring over here. But anyways, let me go ahead and show you. This is the last thing I picked up. And this was the original Betty Boob Rag Doll, which I thought this was awesome. I have a friend that collects Betty Boob, and I knew she would love this one. And it comes in the original box, as you can tell. And I got it for four bucks, which I thought was a great deal. And I just hope she loves it because she has her a uh, lot of. Um, Betty Boob, so, and this comes in the original box, so I thought she would enjoy that, and look at her earrings, so cute, right, and her dress, oh my gosh, so that is my part two, you guys, of all this stuff that I picked up, um, I wasn't sure if I should pick up all this, uh, 
crafty goodness, but I just couldn't pass it for um for the prices. I'm like, oh my god, I got to uh, pick it up and look at the back of the box. Let me show you the back of the box. So she can either keep it in the box or even cut that out and um, frame it if she wanted to. So I just thought that was a great deal for a um, vintage box of the doll. So um, I thought that was a great deal. Um, it doesn't say the year, but I knew she would love this. So I just went ahead and picked it up. Um, so yeah, this is what I picked up and I hope you enjoyed, um, how you say it, um, going through all the stuff with me. So thank you for coming on by. Don't forget to leave a comment and give me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. And I just can't look, oh my God, can't even talk can't stop looking at this one so i'm definitely got to clean these because i haven't had a chance to clean them and definitely want to check this out and see how this works they also had a couple machines there but i didn't pick up any of those um look at this is cool so i look forward to uh seeing what this one's about so if you have this one let me know um i guess that's what it does kind of reminds me of piercing i guess the paper that's what i'm thinking it does so anyways um so thank you for uh hanging in this long video but i definitely wanted to share what i picked up have a great day or evening and um once again thank you for coming on by and watching my videos bye you guys